everyone here we are going to start with a new chapter that is mensuration now in this chapter you will be come across the two terms that is area and perimeter very first of all we will try to understand what is area and what is perimeter so area is region enclosed within the closed figure jab bhi hamare paas koi ek closed figure hoga aur uske boundaries ke andar ki region ko nikalna hai in that case we will be finding the area of that figure now if you want the perimeter of the figure then perimeter is the sum of length of all the sides if you are having a quadrilateral then we are going to find the sum of all the four side now we are having the formulas for the area and perimeter for the specific figures suppose we take for the square now here in case of the square we are having this figure in which all the sides are of equal length so the area equals to side square and the perimeter equals to 4 into side as the sum of all the sides will be the perimeter now we'll be going for the next figure which is rectangle now in case of rectangle we are having this figure in which there are two types of sides that is length and the breadth they both are equal and these two are also equal so here the area of a rectangle is length into breadth whereas the perimeter is twice of length plus breadth two length and two breadth so it is 2l plus b now the next one is triangles and here we have the area of triangle as 1 upon 2 base into height where this is base and the perpendicular from this vertex to the base will become the height of this triangle agar hum yahi height idhar se banate hain then this will become base and this will be height aur agar hum iska height idhar se banayenge so this will become base and this will be the height of the triangle so we can use this formula for triangle as 1 upon 2 base into height with respect to the different height and the different bases but you will be getting the same area for the same triangle and the perimeter of the triangle is calculated by the general formula that is the sum of all the sides now the next one is parallelogram here the area of parallelogram is base into height in which this will become base and this will be the height so if you are going to take this base the distance between these two parallel sides will be the height for this and if you are going to take this one as base then the distance between these two parallel sides will be become the height now in both of the cases you will be getting the same value of the area for this parallelogram now the next figure we are going to take is circles now in case of the circle we are having this figure in which this is the center and the distance from the center to the circle is known as radius up area of the circle is pi r square and the circumference which is also known as the perimeter for it the perimeter of the circle is given a new name that is circumference and this is 2 pi r now the question arises what is pi now before going for the pi we will going to discuss something about the circle here the distance from the center to the circle is known as radius of the circle and if we draw a line which is passing through the center and it is the other side of the circle then this is known as diameter so we can say the diameter is twice of radius so here we get the relation d equals to 2 into r now we have just studied the formula for the circumference of the circle and it was circumference equals to 2 pi r ab circumference ko hum log agar c likh lete hain and this 2 r will become d so we can write this one as d and pi now isko agar hum rearrange kare so we will be getting pi equals to c upon d in which c is circumference and d is diameter so if we are going to define the pi with the help of this relation only that is pi is the ratio of circumference and the diameter of the circle so kisi bhi circle ke circumference aur uske diameter ka jo ratio hota hai that is only taken as the pi and it is constant by 22 upon 7 or we can take 3.14 one thing i want to tell you that pi is an irrational number whereas 22 upon 7 and 3.14 are rational numbers because the actual value of the pi is not yet defined now let's start with the exercise and do question number 1 here in question number 1 we have the length and the breadth of a rectangular field are in the ratio of 9 is to 5 if the area of the field is 14580 square meter find the cost of surrounding the field with a fence at the rate of 3.25 per 
meet. Now here we are going to take the length and the breadth of the rectangle V 9x and 5x respectively and we have been given the area of a rectangle as 14,580. Therefore this length into breadth equals to 14580. Okay, 9x into 5x will be 14580 and 9 into 5 that is 45 x square equals to 14580. Therefore, this x square will be equals to 14580 upon 45 that is x square equals to 3 2 4 and x will be equals to the square root of 3 2 4 that is x equals to 18. Now we are going to place the value of x in 9x and 5x to get the value of length and breadth. So we get the length as 9 into 18 that is equals to 162 and breadth equals to 5 into 18 that is equals to 90 meter. Now we have to find the fencing, the cost of fencing and fencing is always done on the perimeter of the field. So first of all we are going to find the perimeter of this rectangle and here the perimeter is 2L plus B that is 2 into L we are having 162 plus b we are having 90 and this will be 2 into the sum of these two that is 2 5 2 and it will be 5 0 4 meter. Now we have got the length of perimeter and now the cost of fencing is 5 0 4 into 3.25 that is 1 6 3 8 rupees as answer. Now we'll moving to the question number two. Here in this question, we are having a rectangle is 16 meter by 9 meter. Find a side of a square whose area equals to the area of rectangle by how much does the perimeter of the rectangle exceeds the perimeter of the square. Now here in this question, we are having two figures. One is rectangle and other one is square. Hame have a rectangle ke dimensions diye gaye, that is 16 and 9. So first of all, we are going to find the area and perimeter both of rectangle. Now area equals to length into breadth so it is 16 into 9 that is equals to 144 meter square and the perimeter is 2 L plus B and on placing the value 2 16 plus 9 that is 2 into 25 and it is 50 meter as the perimeter. Now it has been given the square, the area of a square is equals to the area of rectangle. So we can write this one as area of square equals to area of rectangle. Area of square we are having side square and the area of rectangle we have calculated as 144. Therefore the side equals to the square root of 144 that is 12 meter. So our square ka jo side hoga, so our square ka jo side hoga, that will be of 12 meter. Now with the help of this side we can find the perimeter of the square and perimeter of the square is 4 into side that is equals to 4 into 12 and it will be 48 meter. Now we have to compare the perimeter of the square and rectangle. So here we see the perimeter of rectangle is greater than the perimeter of square. So the perimeter of rectangle is greater than the perimeter of square by 50 minus 48 that is equals to 2 meter as answer. Now let's do question number 3. Here in question number 3 we have two adjacent sides of the parallelogram are of the length 24 centimeter and 18 centimeter. If the distance between the longer side is 12 centimeter find the distance between the shorter sides. Now here in this question we have got this figure by the information given in the question. We are having a parallelogram in which the two sides are 24 centimeter and 18 centimeter in which this 24 is longer side and the distance between the longer sides is 12 centimeter and we have to find the distance between the shorter side. So here in this question we will take area in area in two cases. In the first one we are going to take this one as base and the other case we are going to take this one as base. When we take this base, this height will be made and when we take this base, this height will be considered. So in case one using longer side, we have got the area equals to base into height. Here the base is 24 and height is 12. 
and 12 into 24 will be 288 centimeter square. And now we've got the area of this parallelogram. And in the other case, we're going to take this one as base and this one as height. So in case two, using sorter base, area equals to base into height again. And here, in this case, we are having the area that is 288 and the base is 18 into height. And therefore, height equals to 288 upon 18. On solving it, we get 16 centimeter as the distance between the sorter sides of the parallelogram. This is also the answer for this question. Now let's move to question number four. Here in this question, we have been given with this figure and the question is Rajesh has a square plot with a measurement as shown in the adjoining figure. He wants to construct a house in the middle of the plot. A garden is developed around the house and find the cost of developing garden around the house at the rate of rupees 50 per meter square. Now here in this question, first of all, we are going to find the area of this whole plot. Then we are going to find the area of this house. Or is puri plot ke area may say area of house ko subtract karing. And on subtracting, we'll be getting the area of the region in which the garden is going to be developed. Or after getting the region in which the garden is going to develop, we are going to multiply it by 50 to get the cost of developing garden. So first of all, we are going to find the area of plot. The area of plot equals to side square as it is a square plot and this will be 24 to the whole square and it will be 576 meter square as the area of plot. Now we are going to find the area of house and area of house equals to L into B as it is in the shape of a rectangle and this will be 18 into 12 and that is equals to 216 meter square and the area of garden will be area of plot minus area of house that is 576 minus 216 and it will be 360 meter square. The cost of developing garden equals to 360 into 50 and this will be rupees 18,000 as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.